On to stage two. Frigid Hell. So you can see, Miriam's already proven her worth. These lamps are pretty high up, and, well, her high jump allows her to reach them. These enemies are also pretty wide at the bottom, so Miriam's long whip can help deal with them with ease. So, Miriam is kind of a sort of a Belmont analog character. Also, that shield's meaningless. You know, you got a whip. Uh, you saw earlier, or if you were paying attention, that I had uh, knives. There's a throwing dagger, one of the most standard uh, Castlevania sub weapons. Not in Smash for whatever reason, but uh, can you, like. Alright, that works. Let's see, here's the knives again, the daggers, also money. So, I could go down, but this, this fallen adventurer seems to be telling me to go this way. And with Miriam, I shall go to the shortest path without fail. And attack frogs. Frogs. The greatest enemy to mankind. That one's just a rock, though. But I'm gonna kill it anyway. I don't like that rock, it looked at me funny. And look at that, we got a heart too. Anyway, this adventure is telling me we should go to the left, so I think I'll oblige. And I'll destroy this rock, because it was there, and I'll destroy that one too. And I'll get more knives, because apparently that's all I'm good for. I honestly never use the knife sub weapon. It's it's got its purpose, but I never really feel the need for it. Anyway, we got women. Go stop it! Don't do that. Not when there are pits. We got women and clamshells. That was a bit close. I mean, it wouldn't have killed me, but you know, I kind of want to live. More Fallen Adventurers! People with spears! Good thing my whip has more range! Miriam is a lifesaver. Completely safe. Oh, you, you tried to stab me! You tried! Anyway, so this is rapiers. You throw them for some reason. But it's a very good option, a very good parallel to the ball and chain. I'm actually just gonna slap that one. I don't need to use the rapiers. Hmm. I wonder what that area above is. Oh well. We'll just keep following the adventurers. And uh, here we have a sickle. It is a boomerang. Because reasons. That's that's how sickles work, right? Ow. You're normally supposed to jump over those arrows. Um, so this guy's a bit too high up, so I'll just use that ball and chain that I still have. And then I'll let the sickle boomerang back and kill the guy. Because it's funny. So now I've got an axe. So you might be wondering... It's probably the throwing axe, right? Well, if you throw yourself, it's kind of close, but no, it's just a freaking powerful attack. Basically kills anything. And look at that, that looks special. Also, the tile down here is different. So yeah, it's breakable. So now we got more weapon points. For some reason, this bottom one is not breakable. It bothers me. But whatever. Just gonna jump at this guy and then axe him. You don't have to jump, but I like to. I think it's more fun. It's also just, you know, kind of useful. Big heart! So you can probably guess what's coming up. Uh, can you not be? Thank you. 
Come on. Get out of here. Out of here. I present to you the Duke of Hell, Folklore. Your crouching and fighting capabilities are really nice for this boss fight. It's like Miriam's actually built for this area or something. Anyway, fortunately no rocks in the middle there. Only on the outsides. Anyway, let's throw a bunch of rapiers at him. That ought to do some damage. Oh, he dances around with water orbs. I narrowly avoid getting hit, and he's down. You know what they say. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh, look, an old man. That I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist. You use demons to fulfill your worldly desires! Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Alfred has become an ally. Anyway, this is just the same sign that we saw earlier. Buster Rod! Use alchemy! Use his weapon points. That's kind of all we're getting from Alfred right now. There's a Buster Rod. I can't use alchemy because my weapon points are at zero. So, uh, sorry. It's, it's just the sub-weapons. Which everyone has that, so it's not really that special. But I, I guess they just wanted you to know that maybe his sub-weapons are special. You know. I mean, he is an alchemist, after all. 